Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to share my match day sports photography workflow using Adobe Lightroom Classic. Now, very quickly, my end to end workflow as a photographer covering more often than not a single professional team here in England. The workflow also uses Dropbox and WhatsApp. Yes, I did say WhatsApp. A little random, but it will make more sense soon enough. Now, this is a really quick and easy workflow, and it works perfectly for me and for what I need it for. I've been using a version of this for a few years now, but every now and then I do make little tweaks and improvements. And so with it being more than two and a half years since I last did a video about it, I thought it was high time to record this update. So let's get right into it. Well, it actually begins earlier in the day when I create my folders that I'll be exporting to during the game and afterwards. For this, I use Dropbox with a set of folders shared with the media team at the club or team that I shoot for. So I set up a main match folder just like this. And then within that, another subfolder called social. This social folder will be where I export compressed smaller images to that are also watermarked and will be used by the club on social media. I'll quickly show you some examples of this then. This is the game I shot this past weekend against a team called Harrogate Town. Here is that high res main image folder. You can see all the images in here and the sizes on the right. And then if we dip into that social media folder, you'll see all the images are watermarked and also smaller. Now it takes two minutes to set these up. I don't need to reshare any of the folders with any of those people because the main parent folder for the season is already shared with the media team and the right people. So no extra work is needed on that front. Also, all of these folders in Dropbox are synced with my MacBook. So it's really, really smooth and quick as far as a process. Okay, so let's jump into the main Adobe Lightroom part of it. Now, so that I can export images into those two folders seamlessly, I create two export presets. Because I always have previous ones saved, this takes me two minutes to do as I just simply edit those ones. On screen now, I will show you very quickly setting up a new one. So on the left, that game against Harrogate I mentioned is here. You'll see Harrogate High Res and Harrogate Social. If we first look at the High Res one, the only thing you really need to look at here is the destination folder. This is where all those high res images, when I export them, will be dropped into. Once you're happy with that and you've updated the location, what you're going to need to do is save it. And the process for doing that is to click add in the bottom left hand corner here and then call that the name of the game you're covering and then the high res element. OK, and next up, we will look at the social media side of it and create an export for that. So I'm going to click my previous version here. And again, we need to update the destination folder. Like that. And then if we scroll down here, you're going to see that the image is reduced in size. It is reduced in dimension here down to 19, 1920 pixels on the longest edge. And if I scroll down further, I have a whole load of watermark presets already created here in Lightroom. So I literally just have the current season one applied there so that I know when I export with this preset that that watermark is going to be applied. OK, once we're happy with that, we're going to click add for that one as well and call that Accrington Social. Accrington being the name of the team, I think I am next due to cover. Okay, now before we come out of this export preset setup, we're going to do an export of whatever image I've got selected in the background here from a previous game I shot. So to do that, we're going to put a little tick in this box and a little tick in that box. So they're the two export presets that we just created and we're going to hit export. You'll see in the top corner of the screen that that export is taking place. As I'm doing this before the game, I'll usually then go in and delete those two test images used in that export. Now, the reason I've done that will become a little more obvious later on, but I'm essentially exporting those now so that I don't have to come into this export dialogue screen again during the game. 
So export presets created, example export performed, and folders created. That is my setup complete, and we're on to the match itself. So on to the match then. Now once my memory card is inserted, Lightroom recognizes this and displays a prompt to import images. Now, 99 times out of 100, I will leave this selected as only importing all new photos. You can obviously change that if you wish to. Here is the option here if you want to do that. Once imported, it's then time to rifle through them and pick out any key action shots. And you may notice during this video that there's quite a few random photos or pictures of the player's backs. And that is because in this game, it was a bit of an unfamiliar kickoff time for me. And it was early in the day and the weather was continually changing. So as I was shooting on full manual, manual, I was continually playing around with the exposure settings. Now, I will normally try and do an import pre-game if I have any warm-up shots or general views of the stadium. And a recent video I did here on my channel, which I've linked below, how to shoot professional football, talks a little bit more about when I may do those imports and grab those shots. But the bulk of my initial edit, I am working during the game and sending images to the club so they have photos to use across all the social media and digital channels while the match is taking place. So I'm working live at Pitchside, hence why this workflow for me, I want it to be as quick and as easy as possible. Now the bare minimum, even in a really dull match with no action, maybe that you grab a few action shots of sorts so they can be used to create half-time and full-time graphics by the club. Ordinarily, I will import images immediately after any goals or flashpoints and at least once during the course of each half, even if there haven't been any goals. This is, again, so I make sure the club has got some imagery to be using across socials and match graphics. So let's say I've just imported these photos right here just after a goal has been scored. What I'll do is quickly look through the celebrations and if I manage to get the celebration, I will pick the strongest couple of shots. I'll do any quick edits. So hit develop and then usually do a bit of cropping or straightening if required, plus anything else you want to do. And then export with previous. Now, that very quick process that you saw me do when I clicked export with previous has just exported the edited image that you can see as both a high-res unwatermark version to the high-res version folder that we created and also a watermarked image reduced down in size and quality for that social media folder. So one operation carried out really quickly is doing the work for me. Once I've done a celebration, I'll check to see if I've got the goal strike itself. Again, if I got it, I'll find the strongest image, edit, export with previous. If I'm happy with the few images that I just exported, I'll hop into WhatsApp on my laptop and share these images in the WhatsApp group with the media team, allowing them easy and quick access to use as required. They can, of course, also hop into Dropbox and grab them from there. I've got my Mac set up so that when I go into here to share the images from WhatsApp, the images at the top are the most recent, so I don't have to dig around and make sure I'm editing the latest image because it's always the ones at the top. And that's the key thing to keep in mind. As I said, I'm doing all of this while the match is taking place, so my camera remains very close at hand or around my neck, and anything I'm doing has to be the sh on my laptop, has to be the quickest, simplest, and shortest way of doing it possible, just in case anything else happens and that I can keep an eye out on the action on the pitch in front of me. So this is my workflow during the game and each import shows as an incremental set in Lightroom, making it easy to see only the images that I've just imported. Once the final whistle blows, I'll usually try and do a couple more images. This will be of players applauding fans or celebrating at full time. And then I pack up, I go home and later that evening, I'll do what I refer to as my full edit. The workflow is exactly the same, but in library, I click the date here down on the left so that it displays all of the images I've taken that day. I'll usually start back from the beginning of the game. They're organized by capture time, so they're in chronological order. And I work through any good or significant images from the day and get them into 
Dropbox so the club can have the full set available to them. They'll then often publish this on uh, the website or Facebook as a gallery in the days following. And that is it. That is my workflow. So in summary, at high speed, without me waffling, this is how quick it is to edit and export images once you've set everything up correctly pre-game. So as and when you import during a game, it's just quick and easy. So open the image, quick crop, quick straighten, export, find the next image. Develop, crop, straighten tweak the exposure if needed, export, so on and so forth. Really quick, really easy. If I just end the video with how I started it by going into the folders I created for that last match covered again, and you can see here all the images in the different sizes and formats. I hope that was helpful. Please tell me in the comments below what your workflow looks like. And if you haven't already, I'd love you to subscribe to my channel. But either way, I hope to see you on the next video.